Hey, all right, I'm trying to get this quick tutorial out here on how to get Google Hangouts to work with your OBS. Simple, quick, trying to make it as simple as possible. It's this, this link right here is all you need to know is this. This link, I'm going to put this link in the description so you don't have to freaking look and um, copy all this word for word. Hopefully I actually do it. But either way, if you know how to go to your OBS Classic, you should easily be able to find this event. But you can click on it because this isn't doesn't have any session data or details in the link. But either way, you got to click on this part of the link right here, the new live event. It's so simple. You just have to put in your title. It don't matter what it is. It can be whatever way you want to make it legit but and just hit and then hit go live once you go live now to get your OBS to work and this should work on Android I know for a fact it does not work on Apple I have tried and tried and tried it doesn't work on Apple you can get it to work on Apple but you have to have a PC to do it you just cannot get it solo on Apple you can't get it solo on you I think on Android you can but I don't it doesn't work on Apple now See, this is once it loads up, it'll let you go live at the bottom. It's loading up. See, that's it'll say at the gosh, get out of here, you freaking window. I hate, I hate windows. I just don't want to resize. I want to resize. I'm so tired of redoing this. All right, you're gonna hit start broadcast, but the most important part is right here. And why did it go? Oh, yeah, when you, when, you, when you move your mouse, you get this. Now, when you have your OBS, this is the part you need to know screen share. The only way to get OBS to work was with, with Google Hangouts because you do not want to do this without that. Because when you sign into Google, it gives you that big old, you know, this stream is being live stream. And, you know, you have to check that you read it, you're confirming, you're giving permission, that kind of thing. You really that's legal issues that's making it possible for you to share somebody else and 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 be able to be on a panel live that's something that you got to know when you're doing it otherwise and i don't know the laws too well so that little google live stream thing you don't want to do it another way unless you know what you're doing so this is why you want to do it this way and not you know do a google live stream and then just have google live stream and have your thing and have google live, unless you know what you're doing to legally protect yourself and to not make youtube mad you know you don't want to make youtube mad and lose your, lose your live streaming ability like i did now what you do is you project yourself here like you'll have like whatever scene you have on your Google live stream and this is what it'll do when you say project this is share your screen but here on Google on um, your OBS Streamlabs or even OBS it doesn't matter you're going to make a projector scene your this this uh hopefully you can see it let me see if you can see it but this is all you gotta do it's just right click and go create scene projector and then you're gonna choose what monitor if you only have one it's gonna just might not even give you an option and uh yeah you just choose what monitor and that's what you're going to share over here and that's how you do it on simple as that that's how you're gonna that's the only way you can really make the blue screen to work on google hangouts and you just don't um you don't share your uh camera you share your screen so there you go and now you got a visual explanation and where to go and how to do it so Hope, hope it helps somebody out. Because <laughs> this is it's uh, yeah it's it's easy but yeah it's honestly I had to Google it myself so hopefully you guys found this useful and uh, and I'm trying to find the the red button the red button the red.